I'm assuming that since you've arrived here, you're looking for information on smoking meat when you're high. I mean, smoking meat at elevation. The first time I tried to do that, I took a pork butt and turned it into a very, very overcooked lump of... You know, it wasn't charcoal, but it certainly was inedible. The very center of it, a very small, oh, I don't know, two-inch little chunk of a 10-pound piece of pork butt was still meat. Uh, so, not great. Uh, time plus temperature equals tenderness. The fat and connective tissue begin to break down at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that you got to get the meat up past the stall, but then at the very same time, water is boiling at 203 degrees Fahrenheit here in Denver, depending on where you're at. It could be slightly different conditions. But with that in mind, you've really got to manage that temperature range between 160 or 187 degrees Fahrenheit and 203 degrees and make sure that you give it a nice low and slow cook time. A lot of recipes assume sea level, and you can't do that. So you need to make sure that you have a cook temperature that is relative to your elevation. You've got to reduce time to expose connective tissue and fat to prime breakdown conditions. So since you're cooking lower and slower, you want to consider 225 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe even down to 200 degrees and you want to keep the spray bottle around. After about four to five hours, the pellicle that forms on the outside of the meat is going to prevent smoke from being absorbed by the meat. It's going to prevent your smoke ring and some of the Maillard reactions. And so you're going to want to be able to wrap with foil or butcher paper, depending on which technique you like to use or what kind of meat you're using. Uh, or, or cooking and you want to make sure that you give it a nice long time to cook um, I've heard of a lot of people moving the meat into an oven where they'll sit it at 200 degrees Fahrenheit overnight just to get that extra time on top of that it's really critical to give your meat time to rest if you get your meat internal temperature up to 195 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to hit 195, and then you're going to want to be able to wrap it if it isn't already wrapped, and you're going to want to let it sit, and you're going to want to let that meat stay in that 160 to 187 degree Fahrenheit window so that you get a premium amount of time for the fat and the connective tissue to break down and get a maximum softness. You'll be happy. Everyone else who's eating your barbecue will be happy. And quite frankly, it'll just smell better longer. And there's no downside to that. Happy smoking.